Welcome back to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. It's time to hang out with Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Whatever you don't want to say, they will with no chaser. Take a shot and let's have a drink. Is hashtag squad goals still a thing? Because they are. Let's go. I'm going to keep it real. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. We're back with episode 125. 25. How many of y'all got those? Mm-hmm. None. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you mean? Shit. That's a lot of episodes. Uh, no, I know. But, you know there's Most a lot. Give up and... You yeah, know, they do. But You know, put other people on and it gets canceled. They cancel themselves. You know, all kinds of things happen with podcasts. Well, we got we're a still here. strong episodes bond, there. I think... I'm I just proud so. of us. I know, I am proud of us too. I think we have a very strong bottom. And I'm proud of us too. Okay, thank you. Yes. Now you said, what was that, second or third uh, time? No, second time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back everyone. Uh, episode 125, we're doing current events. Because you have to kind of throw those in. Because mm. it should just be happening, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if anybody can see it on the camera, but my eye is twitching fuck out so if you see me going like this it's because it's bothering the fuck out of me that's a badass camera <laughs> that just got off I'm, that got off. I'm not winking at you yeah, <laughs> Every dollar we spend on that, we got our money out of it. Okay. Now I'm going to watch it. I'm going to zoom in yeah. and see if you can see it. They're looking at her like everything she's saying is a lie. Yeah. No. Or a truth. Or, or, or a, it's just twitching. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into it, Tequila, how was your week? In honor of Big Pokey, my week was man. Oh, yeah. man. man. Remember <laughs> the song right. they made me? Man. Yeah, it was, okay. it was the man. It was a man week? A uh, fucking man. 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 Man, hold up. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's going down. Sam. Sam. Yeah. A little bit of Sam. <laughs> yeah. Now that you've explained it to the non-Texas people. Yeah. yeah. The same. <laughs> no elaboration? No. Alright. He already explained it to you guys. Yeah. Uh, Cognac, how was your week? My week was... Uh, you know, you're not going to bite this time and go, it was woman. <laughs> no. It was, uh, it was pretty intense. I took a pretty big fall. I realized I ain't 20 years old no more. Uh, slipped on some tile. Landed straight on my whatever I landed on, like back damn damn there, but more like my what do you call them? Uh, tailbone or caucus? Tailbone caucus, yeah, that's caucus. Caucus. That's the bone oh, that's down there. Yep. <clears throat> so still a little sore, but a lot better than I was last Saturday. So there's that, and you know. But, you fucked around and found out. Yeah, I fucked know. around and found out. Yeah, because I oh. think that at least myself kept saying put shoes on. Yeah, I usually yeah. wear shoes yeah, around the house. Yeah, you weren't trying to hear And I went shit. to ran you to, hear this to the house to grab some. And he also never dries himself off when he gets out of the pool. This was not just a one-time occasion. Yeah. I put towels out there, and he thinks that he's just invincible. And no, I don't think out. that. Back broke. Main <laughs> <laughs> baby, yeah. Is that huh? all you want to tell them for the week? What about um, what about? No, is that at the end of your week? So I'm talking about yeah, right? it, before I start talking, you talk. Yeah, that was kind of it, man. It hurt, man. I'm still, I'm still hurt. So just don't walk around on tile with wet feet. I guess I don't know what to say because I'm still sore. He was also defeated in pool basketball that evening. Yeah. And didn't have no shoes on to even assist. Well, I got slicky feet, I guess. He's yet to defend his own pool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm retired. I said I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I I was was undefeated. No. I was undefeated. I I was undefeated. Mm -hmm. One-on-one pool basketball. Okay. How many games before that I won? Huh? How many games before that I won? I see I how they know. do me when it's time for me to talk about money. I, don't I see know. how they do me. Yeah, you don't know. Um, there are hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Not against me, though. And then mm-hmm. uh, Rum, Rum, Rum Ryan, Rum Ryan, who was on last week, now is host of 
pool NBA champions one on one in this pool here, located here. I don't know what happened at the other pool, but I know what happened at this pool. Yeah, Rum yeah. Ryan beat you. Yeah, he but beat me. That's one. Because yeah. of, I was undefeated until Rum Ryan beat me. Oh. So because of the slicky get. tiles, man. Slicky tiles? I ain't no, he my, just won. He won. Right. No excuses. No, fair enough. No, he did. I told him. He I gave him his credit. Be raw twice. Yeah. I gave him his credit for that it. That didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. I gave him his credit for it. How was your week? Oh, y'all here? Yeah. Sorry, I was going to wake up. <laughs> My week was good. Um, besides dealing with a broke back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't have mountains here. But just a broke back. Yeah. Aside from that, um, yeah, it was a, a week. Um, oh, I golfed for the first time. Ever, like real golf. Like, yeah. I, I'll kill you on be Golf or, you know, the, and the PlayStation Golf, but golf for the first time, everything hurts, but it was fun. I actually had golf lessons, shout out to um, Rihanna's dad, um, like I learned different clubs and how to hit them and how to position and blah, 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 blah. That was fun. Harper Rose Baby is here unexpectedly today, love seeing her, and tomorrow swimming, and that's about it. Yay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Are we going to get into our segment? At Harper. She kills everybody's heart. Now it's time in to a good way. To that special segment of the evening. You know. That everybody loves. Uh-huh. Joking with Tarniak. Yeah. So... Why would it not benefit you to fight a dinosaur? Mm, I don't even want to talk about it. Some of them I don't even want to think about. I'm just going to tell me. Because you're going to get giraffes kicked. (laughs) Get giraffes kicked. Giraffes (laughs) kicked. Jurassic. You made it. I got the G, G don't I? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I would post picture, but then y'all are going to stalk him. All, all of his fans. <laughs> oh, my. Multiple fans, yeah. yeah. I actually heard a joke today. Uh, well, uh, it was sent to me. And it showed Luby's. I don't know if they actually saw it on a Luby sign or someone sent it to them and it said... "It's." I feel like it came from Texas, though, because it said... On their, you know, the display sign where they say we have deals or whatever. It says it's so hot that our garlics, are, that our garlic is unclothed. And it was sent to me, and I said, "Well, that's a good senior citizen joke." Yeah. And then my mother-in-law was like, "Thanks to me, I thought it was funny." And I go, "Well, to be fair, your son would say the same kind of joke." No. <laughs> Yeah, you would. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you no. would. I was saving no, you. I, I was saving you from no. it because I didn't want it to pop up next week. Not a pass. No. <laughs> yeah, our garlic. Um, our garlic got unclothed. Clothed. Yeah. Clothed. Yeah. 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 Clothed. <laughs> you would totally say that. Mm. Anyways, let's get into it. Who wants to go first? You got it. Me. It's only. It's only. Small. Well, you got right, what are we getting into? You got the best current news for us. Current, current events. Yeah, current events. I said it earlier. Oh, yeah, right? well. I, yeah, I said 125. Uh-oh, there goes Harper Rose Hall. You might be able to hear. She's calling me. What are you doing? <laughs> Harper Rose, I'm working. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, love you. Okay, one hour. <laughs> All right. Anyways, current events. So um, we kind of brought it up last week sporadically about the submarine yeah. um, that Im- imploded. Um, I just want to say that, um, you know, everybody feeling guilty for laughing at the jokes. Don't feel guilty because there's a part of you that can sympathize with something and then go, hmm. Why? Why do you do that anyways? Um, anyways, they recovered, uh, 
parts of it and found human remains in it. And I was just astonished by how many people were like surprised that there were human remains in it because they don't know what an implosion is. And sometimes I think that you need to use common sense. Explodes means ex, you know, <laughs> implode means mm -hmm. so they were smushed. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I, I would do, I deal with implosion in my work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. With containers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if someone was in it, that's Horrible. where they are. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it usually happens fast. You know, when they say explosion is yeah. implosion. You know, it's not like it, they were just crushed slowly yeah, right, or something. Right. It's super fast. But yeah, I was just like. Imagine taking a water bottle and just sucking. That's an well, that's an explosion. No, what the bottle don't do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> I was thinking... An uh, empty yeah. one. I mean an empty one. Yeah, yeah I mean... Yeah. Or a balloon. A balloon, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah a balloon, yeah. 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 That's it. That's what happened. And, um... Especially with that much, like, you know, pressure. Yeah. It's about two miles down, not, you know... Yeah. Rest in peace to those people. Yeah. However, I'm gonna stand on the sword. It's... it's the, the jokes are funny. The memes are funny to me. So. Yeah. And the Lord will take care of me as see fit, but, you know, I sent something, I don't know if you saw it because you haven't been on IG today, but it's like, I want to be rich, but not rich enough where I just, am like, eh, fuck it, let me go see the Titanic. What, <laughs> like, what I can do with it, in basically. A, like, in a tuna you know. can. Yeah, I don't want to. <clears throat> if, I, if I can't bring part of it up and sell it, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it, you didn't. Yeah, so yeah it's money. like a, literally a... You a brain, it's, a it's a brain you write. It's a brain. It's a brain you write. You know, a you shipwreck's know, a shipwreck. Right, and the fact of the matter is, uh, I saw scenes, you know, with James Cameron before he did the Titanic thing. You know, he went down there, and he was in the hole looking at the power structures, everything to do the, you know, to do the movie. In the, and that's what in, was a big the, thing. In the right vessel. In the right vessel, correct. And and, and he got lucky. <clears throat> Correct. Because I think you're just lucky fucking yeah. around. And yeah. find out. But, you know, here's the thing. So it's no different than people like wanting to experience space. You know, they're trying to get people to space. And then they and spend who, all that money. Yeah. They're up there for two minutes. And we're like, yay! I saw it. I already saw it on Armageddon or whatever movie. Like, I don't... I, I, I don't know either. It's, I mean, it's. I wouldn't spend stuff. that much money for all that. You, know you I mean? wouldn't. No, you wouldn't spend. They couldn't even pay you. I don't think. <laughs> Me personally, not. Not two fifty. No, I'm not yeah, going down. I'm not million, going, I'm go, I ain't going down there to, to sit in a, uh, across the aisle and to see Indian? something out in the wind. I, you, oh, I oh, you yourself. cut it out. Got it. Indian yeah. across. The, okay, I got it. Yeah, you my bad. Anyway. No, I said my bad. Yeah. Anywho, so I'm not going down it. there and the guy got a controller worse than me. <laughs> the guy got a controller, a Mad Max, whatever the hell they call them, the off-brand PlayStation controllers, what were they called? Neo yeah, Geo ones? Yeah, rest to all of those people. Yeah. Again, not trying to be insensitive, but us broke people are like, why? Mm. And we're laughing. At the brokenness. Most people the broken, are, but the, we're we're laughing at the brokenness and the hierarchy of it. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you could have fed a whole lot of people. Oh boy, the, that are starving. I so, think one of them. One of, you could have done something a lot more stupider. Yeah, stupider. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what I think. Anyways, one it of was, the, was when we were kids. Oh. I just posted something the other day. It says, do you remember when we were all in elementary and we sent the boys to go to Jupiter to get more stupider? Well, they're back now. <laughs> so one, one of the guys on, on that ship, he, he was on a, a shuttle uh, with a, uh, I think it was an either, astronaut. Yeah, at the, uh, one of the astronaut things. They walk on the moon. Yeah. Rich people problems. Yeah. He was on that shuttle. Yeah, but... You know? Yeah. Wasn't enough. Your yeah, turn wasn't enough. Huh? Yeah. What's your uh, me? story? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a funny one. I'm tired of that shit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Sorry. My collection's complete. Got a place you don't even know. Then. Go. Okay. Do you have one? If not, yes. Pharrell bought the tiniest Louis Vuitton purse. Pharrell. Pharrell. 
Williams uh-huh. bought the tiniest Louis Vuitton purse, uh-huh. microscopic, uh-huh. $63 million. A green that. little purse. Um, that's what the you heard. Is. That's what you heard from but Sotheby's. Sixty-three million. Mm-hmm. Can I um just say I don't know. I'm not a Pharrell fan, but you do know he's the creative director of Louis Vuitton right now. I know that. That I do know. But so I don't think he would even need to buy it. Maybe not. Um, he just had a fashion show in yeah. Paris or Milan. I don't know whose fashion week it is. This. But the purse was estimated ago. for sixty-three million dollars. Yeah, but he didn't pay that. He's okay, the creative fine. director. He could just pull it off their archives and then go sell it. Again. Fair enough. If he didn't buy it, the purse was. I can show you pictures. The purse was this. No, I, be, this, I believe yeah, I, I saw the fashion green, show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the size of your. But he's the creative director since Verge died. Um, yeah. Virgil, sorry, I said Verge. I mean, like I knew I, there. who Virgil wants died. now? Who wants to be that rich? Um, yeah, he bought it, but he's still on land. <laughs> no, I get that, but, but... I don't think that he bought it. I think that's just... <clears throat> Nobody's going to buy a $63 million purse. I don't think. And I'm a fashion whore. Yeah, you can't even use it. You no. Know? But it's... What you going to put in it? I, that's the point. I, 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 the thoughts. Okay, so here's my thing. I'm not, I'm not a Pharrell, like, fan. I think he's super talented, um, whatever. He's... The director for Louis Vuitton. I love Louis Vuitton designs. But he's also, I don't know if you saw like his fashion show of him. They're he, basically Louis Vuitton's going into Minecraft, pick like the print. Yeah. You know, mine. It's like Minecraft. That's blocks. kind of what it blocks. like. Looked, yeah, so like he probably bought it, or said he bought it, or they said he bought it to make hype for it. It's like, yeah, we're doing that's that's the thing. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I don't want any I'm of I'm shocked it. you didn't hear I don't like my about mom. I didn't, but I did see the show because I like You didn't see the purse, little green. I saw him holding like lots cooler. of purses and stuff. I don't I don't know. I don't think that he spent sixty three million dollars on the it. smallest Louis Vuitton purse. Ain't no way I work for you and I gotta spend sixty three million dollars buy something of yours. Sorry. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And if so, what a waste of money. I just make one for us, for example. Well, I already got the rights well, to your, well, your brand and shit. Well, somewhere overseas, yeah. it's already made. Yeah. And we can all get one. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, because if there's only one, the way everybody's is fake after yeah. that, right? The way it looked to me, the way it looked to me is you could just put a, get a good old booger out your mouth and put a strap on it and open it up and there's the Louis Vuitton purse. Open the booger up. Fashions, fashions, <laughs> art's art. <laughs> I just don't see got, it. That boogers, that boogers, yeah, open them up. He, he does. Uh, he does, he does yeah. No, I yeah. never examine my boogers. So well, well, the rest of us have to examine his because mm. they are sitting there. And yeah, there was a whole situation yeah. earlier, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they fly wild. They fly wild. <laughs> yeah. Aaron was like, Dania, help him. He's not getting it. You know. Anyways, move on to the next story. What you got? So, this is kind of a two-parter. Okay. Uh, I don't know the exact date that happened, but it was a, a mother in a restaurant in Chicago. I think I know. And um, her 14-year-old son was in the car. The mother's a, the mother's a, a licensed registered carrier in Louisiana. Not, not Louisiana. Why Louisiana? I don't know I know where it is. Chicago. Then um she got into it with this dude in there, you know what I'm saying? And the dude was basically told her, if you don't shut up, Chicago. I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna knock you out. And she then said shut up and the dude the missed the punching the lady in the hard, head. Hard. hard. Hard as fuck. Yeah. And the fourteen year old son. When he seen the confrontation, he had came out of the car, strapped with his mom's gun, and popped him in the back. The dude started, ran out of the restaurant. The 14-year-old chased him a little bit and shot him again in the back. The dude died. They arrested the, the 14-year-old and the mother. Um, not, neither one of them ever been in trouble before. Um, son was on road student. They both got charged. Well, the son was charged with murder and first degree murder and I believe the mother and she was also charged with um 
something in the the effects of raising a juvenile, inducing a, 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 a encouraging juvenile, not juvenile behavior. What's the word I'm looking for? I know what you're saying. Homicidal yeah. behavior. No, it's no, like no. basically delinquent, delinquent behavior. Oh. Yeah. Juvenile like delinquency. Basically, she should have been watching. And she shouldn't have had a gun yeah. around and shit like that. And anyway, they were locked up. Um, the the boy had a no bond. I think the mother had a three million dollar bond. And the DA just recently on the twenty seventh dropped the cases against them. After looking at the evidence, and good job, Cook County DA. Yeah, Cook County DA dropped them. I have it here too. So now I think the the mother is suing. Yeah. And she's getting a lot of backlash from people because she's suing for being falsely arrested. And everybody thinks she should just be grateful mm. that she's free. Mm. Yeah. My opinion on this is I don't know all the facts. I was not there. I saw the video. Mm -hmm. um, number one, I saw another video that popped up that I don't know if on the media where the dude that died. Um, his name's Jeremy Brown yeah. or whatever. He, his girl was there with him and was like, hit that bitch, hit that bitch. Mm. Like encouraging him or whatever. Like, why you didn't hit her, dumbass? Anyways, um, don't know if that's true or not, so I'm just saying that's what I saw. However, if I walk into you at 40 years old and you're punching my mother in the face grown ass man I'm taking your fucking life and um at 14 I don't know I, I, you're bad you thought it was cute in my opinion you thought it was cute you thought you could just punch a bitch in the face at the restaurant you know what I mean because there's no history like there's no history of you knowing each other or anything you just y'all got in an argument she talked probably bigger shit than you could, and then you just hit her in the face. Yeah. So, um... And Multiple if times. My, if my, yeah, yeah, it was not yeah. one time. It's yeah. not like you punched her and just kept it moving and picked up your fish and chips or whatever and the fuck you were ordering. And your girlfriend was in there talking about punching. Yeah, yeah like, um... Punching. You fucked around and you found out. And, um... I pray for peace for especially that child. Yeah. Because he is so young and he took a life and I hope that he knows that is a rare occasion like that, you know, he doesn't become hardened or whatever. Um, her suing, I don't know if I'd do that. I mean, they, they have to at that point. Yeah. Somebody's dead. Kid shot, then shot outside. Like, it's better to clear the scene, I think. I don't know, I'm not, but you were out. Yeah. You know, they have to investigate yeah. and get you out. Maybe they need a, here, let's wait and see area, but that you would still say, I was taken from my home. So, yeah. you know, I don't I don't know. I, I don't think I would sue until it was fully done. Well, once they drop the charges, it's a wrap. They can't be charged again for the same crime because that's still... That's yeah, the yeah, thing, so. but I just wouldn't go yeah. back and sue. Like, yeah. that. it's probably, like... It seemed like that was your attention. Yeah. It seemed almost intentional. I mean, you yeah. didn't not I don't intentional think, that the shit was going to happen. I don't think she... Up to that, but. I don't think... I don't know. I don't know these people. I don't think any mother would... I mean, but I'm talking about just... Intentionally. You, you and, you, your lawyer probably was gassing you up when he comes. We gonna, you going to... You're going to get yeah, out of here. Yeah, lawyer's going to do that. And we're going to sue the hell out the, yeah. the, the county. Yeah. And the victim's parents... Our family gonna sue the county. <laughs> it's gonna Cook County got their hands full with this one. Yeah, I just yeah. I think of what's the same. And that's, that's just Rest my in opinion. peace, Jeremy nope. Brown. Yeah. You hit this woman, and then what were you gonna do? Get your food and go with your girlfriend, laugh about it? Like. He didn't. Some, he, sometimes there's consequences. You, you familiar with the story, bro? I kind of oh. barely told. Oh, he laid into yeah. her. He he. Mm -hmm. Feet off the ground. He like. 
punched the shit. No, yeah, he punched the shit. I heard. Yeah. I didn't even know that he died when I saw the video. I just saw it. I was like, God damn. It was like at a chicken fried place, mm-hmm. fish fry, you know, like you're in East Coast. Um, yeah, I don't know. Prayers for all of them, but I can tell you right <coughs> now, you can call it premeditated or not, if I walk in anywhere and you're hitting my fucking mother, or probably any person for well, no reason that you don't even know that hard, yeah. it's, it's a good luck for me. Yeah, I don't think it was premeditated. The, the, the dude yeah. was, I it was scared. He was scared. He was scared. He was scared. Shaking the yeah. girl and Yeah. Trying to save his mom. Yeah. 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 Um, I'd have done the same fucking thing. Yeah, I, and I do yeah. it right now. I'm yeah. 40. Yeah. So. Right now, I'll pop him in the leg and then just put them in. <laughs> well, I'll do the hands. Yeah. But, pop them in the leg and put but, the hands uh, on yeah. I don't know. I could, yeah. I could just snap. Hey, I got. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle. Got a pump in the leg. And get, get the advantage. That's my advantage. No. You know what I'm saying? I think the hands are good, but see, any, any advantage I can get, I'm gonna take it. So I just pop them in the leg. I think, um, from what I'm taking from y'all, what y'all are saying, um, you know, Moses um, saw an Egyptian about to kill a person with a stone, right? And he ended up killing the Egyptian, and they pro, you know, prosecuted Moses for killing said Egyptian. He did it. Well, I mean, you know, they didn't prosecute. They prosecuted him when he saw two mm-hmm. Israelites fighting, and he went to break them up. And they, what you gonna do, kill us? Yeah. That's the that's the prosecution. Yeah. That ain't the prosecution. That's the he's telling them mind your fucking business. <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what I've uh, what in that situation? Yeah. But I've ran down the street. Well, yeah, fourteen years old, man. That, He's that full of cum. That ca- he would. What you said, young, dumb, and full cum, of cum. cum. Yeah. He and would, you hit my fucking mom. Yeah, he'd he, probably shoot somebody over yeah. his little girlfriend that he's only kissed and touched her. That's what I said. Once. He. No, that he, was his mother. He, he'd have definitely caught hot ones. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I think you would still do it right now. I'm just saying. Over your mama. So I. Yeah, I don't. You know what? Watch what the fuck you're doing and yeah. control. I, I think everyone, climate doesn't matter, race, climate, wherever you are, everybody needs to calm the fuck down, because taking someone's life should not be that simple for anyone. Uh, be, you be, know, right? But he could have hit her, and she could have died from just I know that, that punch. I know, and that's he punched what her multiple times just trying to be cute and show his fucking big little dick energy. And now and you what, met the Lord, yeah. and then went back down like but, it's so stupid but here here what, what i was saying it takes a little man to do that like that's what i just said yeah that. like i, I just I, said that. i know okay my bad i was just, i mean that's that's ridiculous these these cats nowadays they want to beat up on old people i mean i guess this happened years ago that they sit there and stomp on old people and say what that's cute to you really that's what I just said. That's I, cute to you? I just kind of just yeah. said that. Anyways, I don't get it. It's disgusting. Is it my turn? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, this woman um, in Indianapolis was robbed. She got robbed at gunpoint by a person. Can you, can you not? And wait, I'm still... Okay. The camera will see what I'm talking about. Like, literally, the moment I light, you light. Anyways, she was robbed at gunpoint, um, and the robber asked her for her to be his Facebook friend. What? In the middle of robbing her. Um, she gave him, I think, $100, um, and said to add him as a friend on Facebook so um, she could he could pay her back because she was too cute to rob. And literally added her and sent her a DM about it. Um... She said, look, he said, look, just so you know, I'm going to pay you back. You was too pretty to rob. Come chill with me. <laughs> he Venmoed her, too. She never got a back. She went to the police. <laughs> like, the fuck? And this is what she looked like. Well, your drawers are about worth $20. There's a picture of her here. Um, it was a whole news story. That's what she looked like. She was too pretty to rob. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm about to yeah. demo you 60 back because I only stole about the worth of this. The hell? Okay. You not, like, stop. Stop. Like, <laughs> oh shit. Still give me your money, but I'm trying to holler at you later. The fuck? Like, <laughs> I don't care what I look I could literally look like fucking uh, Ursula. What? <laughs> you put a gun in my head to rob me. And now you want to chill because I was cuter than you thought? Like, the fuck? It reminds me of this other story. I don't have a backstory, but here's one for you. This girl um, in Atlanta got her wig robbed off her head. <laughs> the girl was like, where did you get your hair? Like, is it a hair? Is it it's extensions? Is it this? Da, da, da. And she's like, oh, let me get you, you know, when someone asks you, like, where do you get your hair? You know, hair quality is important if you're doing wigs or weave. It's important. And the girl, like, snatched it off her head from the fucking car. The wig. Right off her head. Y'all are ridiculous. Work. <laughs> work, 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 work. Anyways. That was my story. Do you have one, or can we move? Yeah, I did. Okay. Are they playing music? I think so. <laughs> Is that what's happening? I think so. So, a guy in Albuquerque shoots this guy on the movie of... Uh, sorry, you just right me. Go ahead. Sorry. Anyways. I don't want disrespect. No, this uh, guy had a reserved movie seat in Albuquerque in a theater. And they end up fighting over the reserved seat. And the dude shoots him over the reserved seat. That's kind of like the, the, the fried list. chicken place that we just talked about. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I'm going to need a minute. Um, sorry, camera people. I'll be right back. Bring up yours. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure I'll finish. So the old boy ran away and they found him. He was like 34 or something. She was, the other dude was 54. He basically told him, hey, we got this seat reserved. And he yeah. told him, hell no. And he started on an airplane? Yeah, and they started tussling. The old boy shot him. <laughs> on the airplane? No, movie theater. Oh. Yeah. Reserved. Who the fuck go in the movie theater? Well, it's like kind of, you know, the, the like I the, ruled them out. At the, the pick at, tour. Uh, after really? COVID, mm. I'd say I probably never go to the theater again. And I like the theater, the where you can eat and sit. Order yeah, that, that's the one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But, uh, it was I'm, like one of those type. And so he had a preserve seating. And they got yeah. into a tussle. Yeah. And yeah. shot the dude. Yeah. I don't see myself um, even... Going to the theater in a, since COVID, I kind of checked that off my list. Then they just built a new one by my house. Yeah. You know, because and they are, they've already had fights at that motherfucker and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they do. Yeah. But uh, that's crazy. Wasn't it a Batman movie that got shot up? Yeah, once. One of them? No. Dark Knight or something? Years, years ago? COVID, yeah. yeah. Somebody came in and shot up the Batman theater or something? Yeah. Batman movie? Sorry, guys. Background noise is getting on my nerves. But, um. So the Supreme Court shot down mm -hmm. Biden's um, attempt to eliminate or eliminate up to $20,000 of 43 million. Plus Americans, student student debt, student loan debt, and Biden says it's not over with. Everybody else says over with. Don't 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 count on no 
stood around and didn't make some blah, 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 whatever, but Biden announces new efforts to provide student debt relief after the court calls. Because that was one of his biggest promises that uh, probably helped him win the election to, to eliminate our manage now student debt and he see that he got one year left right <laughs> to get it done uh, I don't have student debt but I, I understand education I don't I mean I think it should be free or, or at least more affordable um, I mean they don't even use fucking books no more but you pay for them you know what I'm saying and all these, every university give free free online courses. You can take enough free online courses where shit, you can generate enough credits and earn a degree with free online courses. You know what I'm saying? They give those um, CEUs, continuing education units, and you can stack them motherfuckers up. You know they just need to reevaluate the cost of schools and get the brick and mortar shit is out the window. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really going to brick and mortar. You got these high school kids, you prime them up for, for brick and mortar. But shit, they doing they freshman and sophomore years online. They getting all their credits online. Don't even make no sense to have a brick and mortar. I, I'm just letting you Oh, go ahead. Right, I, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I want to say that I think the Supreme Court is um, super... Um, Antiquated. <laughs> Antiquated. Yeah, yep. like I don't, I don't think anybody should be in a position that it's lifetime position because, you know, um, even the president isn't in a lifetime position. And um, prior to the student debt loan, yep. they also canceled, canceled. I just use that word. That's, oh, a, that's your favorite word. Yep. The affir uh, affirmative action for colleges. Affir affirmative action. Um, and they did a, had another six three vote. But go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Um. <laughs> this, I don't think anybody realizes this is literally an attack. And for, I'm going to bring your bitch ass name up again, Clarence Thomas, that you only went to a college because of affirmative action, because you're a fucking moron. Um, for you to use those tools, especially at your time frame, you're older than us. That you're, you were very lucky to be where you are because of the same things that you keep canceling um, and then cancel it for anybody else coming up is really fucking corny to me. I think you're a fucking rapist. I think you are a self-loathing Negro. Um, and burn in hell. That's how I feel about you. The rest of it, super corny. You've got these uh, people, you know, I don't think you're supposed to sep you are supposed to separate church and state. And that's what everybody says. But everybody wants the same church. We're not all from the same church. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm not a Christian, but I do have values. And um, I think my values are great also. Cognac is not a Christian. Um, and he still has values. Tequila is a Christian still has values. And we are able to get along and you should be collectively trying to do the same thing for humanity to make us better. And y'all are corny. All six of y'all. All six of y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the new little mama um, stepped in there. Well, new little mama. Uh, the one that shouldn't have been there because the, Obama couldn't do it. Yeah. When he was leaving office, they blocked all of that shit. Yeah. But when Trump left, it was okay to bring someone in. That's here nor there. I'm not trying to poli politicize uh, anything. <coughs> but our Supreme Court should not have shit to do with religion or politics. And it's corny. Y'all are collecting a whole lot of fucking money. You're telling us that people that went to school, fought their asses off, actually earned the grades, black, white other whatever you can't give them some kind of relief doctors electricians whatever the fuck their job is you can't give them some kind of relief 
But your cousin over here is getting paid by the NRA person to go to college? That's fucking bullshit. And I'm tired of it. Honestly, it makes my fucking head hurt how people don't see what the fuck is going on. Democrats suck. Republicans suck. And all y'all right now suck. All of y'all. Including Sleepy Joe, before you open your mouth. I don't fucking like Biden either. Do you have anything to say? No comment. Don't want my house bombed today. What other comment? <laughs> You're corny. Yeah, you know, comment. You're corny, yeah. and it's and it's ridiculous. You're worried about shit that you shouldn't worry about. You're worried about my fucking uterus over children that are homeless. You. You should be happy that someone smart goes to college. I'm waiting for next week. I hope that Harvard and Yale and all of those people that also have in their college programs the legacy initiation, as in they can get in because your mommy and daddy went there. I hope that the Supreme Court that takes was, that off too. That's what I thought was no. passed. No, I they thought haven't it was passed, passed that yet. wasn't a legacy thing. No, they haven't done that part no, yet. I, no, it's just, it's just you, you don't have to take a you black asked person. The common, uh, or Asian person. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. It, so, no, the legacy so thing's still there. Hear, hear me out. It's hear like me. the skulls. Remember the skulls? That movie, super good movie. So I, Paul Walker. I guess I don't want they didn't. They didn't. Cancel I know, but you, yet, but you didn't. I was gonna talk oh, about what I thought I heard about that. What I thought I heard about that was. Well, you thought you heard, but I'm telling you, it wasn't done. Okay. All right. Yep. You're right. How can you do a current events and it's like, what I thought I heard, I just, and I said, it's not done. It's still there. Okay. They still have their legacy practices. Okay. Okay. So if your grandpappy from 1923 went to Yale, you can still get in there. But my black ass can't, and I'm smarter than you. I said okay. Or something. like. Okay. Okay. I ignore you. Well, I didn't want to argue. I just I don't want to hear no, what, what you thought you heard. No, I was that's still a, there. Asking if uh, the research of that is just a question. This is what the podcast is about. So I thought they were getting rid of that that part of it. It's no longer like a legacy gets in there. They haven't voted it's, on it yet. That's what I know. Saying. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. That's what she said. Yeah. What I answered. Yeah. That's the, it. Okay. May be on the lineup. All right. But it's not voted on. I uh, get that. Okay. I'm talking about what was voted on. Already done. Sign sold okay. delivered. Okay. So, I'm yours. So what I heard about it was what they were proposing was it doesn't matter about ethnicity or whoever it may be. The grades get you in no matter what. If you're establishing grades wise, that's what gets you in. That have anything to do with the ethnicity. rest of us know that's not true. Like okay, like I said, I'm vague on that. So so why comment then? Then I why didn't. keep commenting? Okay. Right. I also believe grades should get you in. Okay. But that's just not the truth. Okay. Literally, there are people that have gone to prison because they couldn't get into places. Yeah, how can you say paying grades, for it? Grades get you in. Paying you for it. Legacy. No, I said. No, Celebrities. I sorry, asked. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not speaking sorry Aunt Becky. I'm just thinking. That went to prison. Yeah, that I thought for her that's what the, I thought that's what the institution on that affirmative, bill, affirmative that it was the grade, the grade is what gets you in there. They didn't, not, they didn't create a new you, bill, they just canceled the bill. Okay. I don't think they created nothing. New. All right. They, they didn't nothing. create anything. Yeah. They canceled said, basically saying... You know, they said just you can't asking. just have all white fucking college because there's white people at HBCUs. Yeah. There's Asian people at HBCUs because they don't want to deal with your fucking bullshit white shit at Yale or Harvard or sorry, whoever else, the NYU, whatever the fuck. There's HBCUs, they call it that because we have to run there because y'all won't let us in. <laughs> you know, you already fulfilled your affirmative action. 
20 people that year. So we had to find something else so we could also get an education. And we are some of the top fucking doctors and lawyers and things that people need in this life. That's where HBCUs came from. We had to create something because y'all wouldn't let us in. And now you're saying the 20 of us that got let in ain't going to get in. Good luck. Because my, my cousin's son, son's uncle went here 20 years ago. Whatever. What a shit show we're living in. That's all I feel about that. That's all. Well, you point at me like I was running the college. No, you shit. weren't. Like, you weren't. You got a degree, though. Huh? You got a degree. What degree? Fucking do- Okay. Oh. Not for, not for free. Anybody I had else? to pay for that shit. I had to work as a jerky sort of pay for that shit, as a matter of fact. So Do you have another one? There's that. Do you have another one? Do you have another one? Me? Yeah. Oh, I had one more. Oh, yeah, I know what it was. So, it was humorous. Like I said, I had the humor ones. Um, so, the AI technology for actors subbing in for movies, TV shows, whatever it may be. So I heard Samuel L. Jackson is completely against that. Like he I don't blame them. wrote, he said, "I will." He, <clears throat> you cannot take my my character into anything once I die. <clears throat> yeah. Basically, he said, "Yeah." I, he goes, "Once yeah. I'm dead, you can't use my face. Amen. You can't use." My image, my voice, hey man, nothing. Man, smart man. I actually would do it myself, and I'm nobody. Don't use my shit for shit. No. If that was the case, I would be married to Patrick Swayze right now. That was my first crush. Like, no, you don't. That's rude and weird. I think it's very weird. Like, even, like, you know, the holograms they do with, like, Tupac or Whitney. That's weird. And then making them sing songs they've never that's never come out of their mouth, or that's weird, and that's a very slippery fucking slope because mm-hmm. you're gonna find somebody who's smart with just computers, and then they're gonna show you saying shit you never even would Said before. ever say. Or, yeah, no. So weird. That's why I always that's thought why, that. Well, that's my point. We're worried about the wrong things. No, I know. Worried about the wrong things. AI is a motherfucker. The Supreme them. Court should have been worried about that. They already, like, cut sentences where you don't even finish them where you sound like an asshole. You know what I mean? No, you do. No, I mean, I know I'm an asshole, but I'm just saying. I've never called oh. you an asshole. No, I'm saying, but they do. They, you know, they, they cut it's skits weird. already, so. It's weird. You know what's not AI? Trump this talking, show. Trump talking oh. about the confidential <laughs> classified documents. Yeah, current events. That wasn't AI. Where he said... You know, these I could have declassified when I was president, but too late now. No you different than, they'll no different than uh, the Here other one. Here we go. Here we go. Sleepy Joe. Sleepy no Joe. different than the other one. Yeah. You, you know, you say I'm so far to re- right. I'm not. You, you, but you're so far to that Tell them side. No, too. I'm, no, I'm not. That's all you talk no, about. I just heard it. I just heard it. It's current events. I heard the audio. Did you hear it? Yeah, and, and did you hear that uh, Mr. Uh, his beautiful son has wants nothing to do with like the daughter? Nothing to do with like his daughter. Doesn't even want to have the I last name. I don't like him. I don't suitor, like his son. Suitor ass. I don't like the daughter. I don't like uh, any of them. He's a disgusting. They're all human. weird. They're all disgusting human beings. Oh, did you say they're all? Yeah. They're all, as in Trump too. All of them, disgusting human beings. Amen. Thank you. Now we agree. Yay. It's just stupid to me. You know, I've never seen people get so emotional behind this shit. You know, presidents and politics and shit. Because it, it, it became me like me more. Like, it became more like mainstream and shit. Like no, I'm talking about people us. feeding this. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was but passionate. Pe- no, nah, he passionate. Uh, uh, I was like, I'm like, I was passionate. I yeah. just said like you like, always defend two stories. You, you defend two stories ago. I, I said you. fuck you, Sleepy you, Joe. You I call him Sleepy yeah. Joe, which I got from you. I said fuck you Sleepy you Joe. When did you get that from me? I never called him that. You, you defend Trump. Watch our episode with, with Biden. What? You defend Trump. You say you don't don't care about him, but you always fuck. defend Trump. That's not, somebody that's that's not true. With, to tear down Biden. If somebody says something about Trump, you, you counter with, with I said that's with not Biden. true. Or it's I'm, not terrible. I'm, defend, yeah, I'm, right. uh, right. I'm defending Mr. Garrison, who played Trump. 
Trump in South Carolina. Uh, and the Supreme Court, that is a silly to me. Uh, I mean, I ain't gonna say silly, but the Supreme Court rules for a designer who doesn't want to make wedding websites for gay couples. And the reason why it's funny for me because this designer don't even she she's starting the business. She don't even have a fucking business yet. You know what I'm saying? So she in the process of starting her business, and she's saying, once my business starts, I would I don't want to have to cater to these gay couples because I'm a Christian and I believe in opposite sex marriage opposite sex marriages or whatever and I don't want to be obligated to have to cater to these people if they come and try to hire my services and went all the way to the Supreme Court with it and they ruled in her favor. So how you know these you, you don't even have no business. You know what I'm saying? You just thinking about starting something. I I'm <laughs> laughing because I literally watched this thing and it was showing like she's a web designer. Yeah. So most gay couples can probably web design their own. Yeah. But I was just looking at her designs. No, I'm just saying like her web design. I do better, and I'm not a web designer. Like our our pictures are better. I it's literally political bullshit that they're doing, and they're just passing it on through. Yeah, she doesn't Making have a it a thing. She doesn't, she, I don't know what she sold. I don't know anyone who's bought anything from her. She, her. Bless her heart. Her business is not, she don't have a business yet. She yeah. planning to start the business. And basically, and her process. they're just saying, like, <laughs> it's so dumb. But that made it through the Supreme Court. This yeah. little... Tubbo bitch in Colorado. I said what I yeah. said, and yeah. come after me if you want. In Colorado Springs, I was like, I just when I started, don't want to work for gay. I yeah. don't want to do stuff for gay people. Yeah. She, 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 okay. She standing. Okay, right. girl. And you had to take it to the Supreme Court. You spent more money doing that than Starting your business. And guess what's gonna happen? Everybody that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna give her business. Yeah. And that shit gonna suck. And in about five years, she's gonna love gay people on y'all's money, I promise. Because I know a fag hag when I see it. Let me and I let said me, what I let said. Me, let me ask you. She something. loves she loves the gays. Let me ask you let me ask y'all sort of question. You know what's funny No. Huh? I was no. gonna answer. Go no. ahead. So if you look it up, you know, I look up everything. So go okay, ahead. go ahead. Next. Like GE. Ask. Sony. All these companies. Yeah. How come th their website for Pride Month? Change it for Pride Month. God bless them. I don't care about that. I know that. Okay. But how come they don't do it for Middle Eastern websites and shit like that? Why not? What are you talking about? If they really because care, you talking about international if they companies. Really, if they really care, so Sony is an international they, company. Yeah, if they really care, is an international company. If they really cared about that thing, why wouldn't they change their logo for the same thing in other countries like Iran, like all these Middle Eastern? Because they'll get people killed. Okay. But we are not that country. This is my point. Every time you I'm bring asking. up current events, you bring up another country. But I'm saying, but why? They can't then do why? it over there. Why? Because, because they'll why? start chopping people's heads off. For what? For and a that's, logo that's change? that's what's about to happen here. For it's. I mean, honestly. Who's yes. chopping people's heads off over there? Uh, Who? Off with your head? That's your joke. Off Who's with chopping head. people's oh, heads off here? Off with your head. So, if, Who? if Sony in... in Sony in, um, we'll just say, sorry everyone, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Sony in Saudi Arabia turned their whole Sony store with rainbows. What the fuck do you think is going to happen to those people? They, they don't care that much to do it. If they had... If they have that much, because do they, there's if they have that much pride to do it, are they the free? there's different there's, consequences. Yes, they're, they're trying to not get people killed. So they're doing it here because we are the home of the killed. free. No, okay. And we're free. supposed to be the home of the free. Right. Yeah. You're here because you're home of the free. So you're just if they if they did if you a care Holocaust, that much, if they did a Holocaust, you know we have Holocaust Remembrance Day and months. Two, if they did that shit over there in Saudi Arabia, what the fuck do you think is going to happen to the Jews that are still there? A terrible fucking thing. If they walked into that store buying their fucking, 
Israeli flags and their remember us and all of that on Holocaust Remembrance Day. What the fuck do you think is going to happen to them? They can't do it everywhere because they will get people killed. Okay. We are supposed to be the home of the free and fuck your religion. Come here. We love everyone because we're human beings. All right. Fair enough. And everyone's lost that shit. Next. And have you heard of... Have you heard if of... If you were strong you, by that. Have, Rob, have, no, if you were standing Rob, by it. Have, Rob, have, then you go live in fucking Saudi Arabia and wave your fucking Israeli flag and see what the fuck happens to you. Have you heard of diversity? Sorry equity, to and Saudis and, 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 and that are not like that. I wasn't generalizing. That's my point. I'm, <laughs> have you heard, right. Have you but heard? they don't claim to be the home of the free over there. They, these other countries you keep bringing up don't claim to be the greatest nation. We accept everyone. They don't accept everyone. So no, Sony and, and Nike and everybody else, whoever the fuck, can't do that over there. They have to respect their business. Does that mean that those people that are there hiding gay, hiding black, hiding not Jewish, or hiding Jewish, or hiding everything that they're hiding doesn't deserve to why wear Nikes, stand tall? doesn't and deserve to have a Sony you, TV? Why, they're, they're providing their support. But why wouldn't you stand tall and... Tell you go guys. stand tall. No, I'm saying why your daddy didn't stand tall. Is he? What do you mean is, by that? Is is our family in Israel or Iran? No, I'm saying okay. You keep on and keep on, but there is I'm not history, on them. and there is history, especially in your family, of having to flee countries that didn't accept them. All right. And we should not have to flee here. Nobody. So you don't. Not just you. And what your beliefs are. Not just a gay person. Not just that. a drag person. This was the home of the free. You come from f people fleeing, Rob. I understand You that. literally come from people fleeing. This is why we argue. Because you cannot turn it off. Your grandfather was here because he fled. To get a better life. Your father is here because he fled. And your grandfather and your father's side fled. To get away from persecution. And you're okay with people being persecuted here? When? Since when? I'm done with the conversation. I said since when? Tell me when. Why do you care if people are gay here? I don't. What are you talking about? When did I say that? I never okay, said that. I'm actually done. I never said that. Okay. I never said that. I never... That never came out of my mouth. Time for our... Second segment of the evening, where we tell you 3,000 questions about us using this magnificent book titled 3,000 Questions that. About Me. Um, me being tequila. Me Sorry, being everyone. Cognac and me being a girl that's even still a girl. She's going to randomly open the book. I don't give a fuck what people do. Shit. I'm the last one to give a fuck what somebody do. Right, my question something. is. Sorry, other people. 2093. 2093, what's the tallest building you've ever been up in? I literally have no clue. Christ. My, my um, That's just regular recollection is, um, I want to say the Bell Tower, Bell, Bell Building, or Smith, Smith Tower. Smith Tower used to be the tallest building downtown, and, 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 and the Bell Tower downtown, um, but the Smith this was taller than the Bell, so the Smith Smith Tower, downtown 47-4. My sister used to work on it. It's probably this is the, the tallest building I've ever been in, or city. <laughs> yeah. Or a hotel, maybe the Bellagio. I have no clue. Now that you mentioned it, yep, Stratosphere, Las Vegas. Stratosphere. Mm-hmm. How, how tall ago? I don't remember exactly, but I went on the roller coaster up there and the bungee thing and the. So, probably that one. I'm going on a biological break. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Sorry. You know how the current event episodes go. <laughs> that's, that's just what it is. But I appreciate you all listening. It means the world to me. I love that we can all speak our mind and still get along and try to talk stuff out. And thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. 
That's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.